Mm-hmm. All right, Matt, Breeders' Cup turf. Uh, I, I, I wanted to like the Americans more in here, but I just could not get away from the Euros. Yeah, I agreed with that. The, you know, I looked at it and looked at it, and and yeah, and that's the way it's been all year with the uh, with uh, the older male turf division in in the U.S. They, there just really has not been a standout. We've had different winners who have looked good winning uh, various races around the country, but yeah, I, I agree, Brian. I, I don't think they, uh, I, th- I don't think they measure up uh, to the Euros. And with the mile and a half distance, uh, that can certainly help the Euros uh, overcome anything. Some of the things they may. Uh, not like about the configuration of the turf course at uh, Del Mar. So I'm going with last year's winner. I'm going with Highland Real. Um, coming back quickly um, off his last race. But but before that, um, he had a bit of a layoff. So that last race I'm looking at as a, as a tightener, getting ready for this race. We know Highland Real loves running in the U.S., some of his best races have been here. Yeah, Matt, uh, I, Highland Real, what, what can you say about Highland Real? He's come to America several times before. He's looked great doing it all the time. Uh, plenty of speed. Uh, maybe there's a little bit more speed this year. I don't think he's going to open up that huge gap that he did last year. I'm going to go with the other top European above him. Ulysses has just impressed me. He's getting better and better uh, now, four-year-old. He ran a very good race last year, but I think he's even better this year. And I think this year they stick with Highland Real a little bit more. So for that reason, I'm picking one Euro over another Ulysses over Highland Real. Uh, the Americans probably don't quite stack up with the class of those two. And these are two horses that have proven they can travel well and especially proven they, they could travel well to America. I like the three-year-old a little bit. Oscar performance maybe getting the best of the American finishes uh, Beach Patrol certainly deserves to be the American favorite, but uh, I think one of the Euros is going to win this race. Matt, let's backtrack a little bit too, because one of our big bets of the uh, uh, of this uh, uh, Breeders' Cup uh, weekend was the late pick four that includes the Mile, the Juvenile, the Turf, the Classic. I wanted to talk a little bit about these races before we got into the bet, but let's now reveal right before the Classic uh, our tickets for the pick four beginning with the mile you already know what we've talked about in those first three races so i'm going to give you my ticket this one is a one dollar uh, pick four for a total of 54 dollars. i'm going to use the three horses i mentioned in the mile as my top three world approval two long shot euros zelzal and roly poly or at least medium shot euros uh, i'm going to try to uh, beat bolt doro with this pick four with free drop billy but I'm not dumb enough not to include Bolt Doro as well. So Free Drop Billy and Bolt Doro are both on this ticket. Then in the turf, my top three, Ulysses Highland Real. I think one of those two will win. But I'm going to throw an Oscar performance and hope that the Americans can pull an upset in here with that one. And then in the classic, which we're going to talk about next, for me, it's Gunrunner as the horse to beat, Arrogate as the horse he has to beat, and my long shot pick is Pavel. <laughs> 